Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can use use params in React. So we're gonna have a simple layout here, don't mind the design, I designed this, it's pretty bad. Pretty goddamn awful, but we're gonna have six cards and then buttons on each one of them. So once we click this button, we're gonna go to different URL that's gonna contain this card. So if we go here, it's gonna go to slash card slash HTML. So we're gonna get the title of this inside your URL. And based on that, we're also going to display that card. So this one is going to show HTML like it is. And then if we go to React one, click view more, React, and this is React. And it also goes to slash card slash React. So for styles right here, I'm just going to paste it in. And I'll let you guys copy them for a second. I'll make it full screen. I'm not going to be going over any styles for this project. Like I said, they're pretty bad. So you can pause the video and get these. And then I'll scroll down so you guys can get other styles as well. So this is the second part. And then we have that. So those are all the styles we're going to be using. And then I'm going to close this. So there's one thing we need to install. And that's going to be the React Router DOM. So we can start here. And we can do npm install react-router-dom. Okay, let's minimize our terminal and then here I want to make few components so we can display everything properly. So inside our source I'm just going to make few components. One is going to be hero.js. Then we're going to have card.js. And we're also going to have full card.js. So let's go to our hero uh, section first, our component. We're going to just import React from react and this is going to be a simple component so hero and inside of here we just want to return a section with a class name of hero and right now we're just going to add an h1 that says like hello just so it formats properly and then we're going to do export default hero here and then we can import that component in app. So import hero from hero dot slash hero. Yeah. So we have that component. We're still not going to render anything on the page. So let's go and make our card here. So we're going to do the same thing. Import react from react. And we're going to do const card. So I'm just making these components right now, but we're going to be adding some data inside our card instead. But for now, let's just return a div with class name of cards. And then on h1 again, hello. And let's do export default card. And then we want to import this card into our hero. So we're going to go here, import card from dot slash card and instead of this h1 we're just going to render that card we made so something like that and then for example if we go back to our app let's make an array here so we're going to make an array of object that's going to contain this data we were showing here so all of these cards so let's make an array here we're going to do const data and that's going to be an array of objects and we're going to have six objects that are going to be the same. So let's just add one of them for now. Let's do title. And this is going to be HTML. And then we're going to have a description. It's going to be this is HTML. So we're going to have six of these. So let's add a comma and paste this five more times here. I'll also make this full screen so you guys can see it. And then we can change this, so this is going to be uh, CSS for both of these. And the next one, uh, we have JavaScript. JavaScript. And here we have React. We have a view. And Angular here. 
So this is our data. And if you have seen that, we can just minimize that so we can see some other stuff. And then, for example, here we want to import a React Router. So you need React Router if you want to use, use params. So under React, we're going to do import. We're going to do browser router. So browser router as router. And then we also want to import a single route. We're going to do from. And it's going to be react router DOM. And then instead of adding app at all here, we're just going to remove everything from here. And we're just going to add a router here, wrapping everything. So we can remove that and we're going to add a router. And inside of that, we're going to have a route. We're going to add a path, which is going to be slash. And we also want to add exact for the first one. Once we only have slash, we want to do exact path. And here we're just going to render our hero component on the page. And you're going to be able to see it soon. If we save this file, we're going to see that cut here. Okay, so let me see what did I mess up here. So inside our hero, oh, uh, inside our hero, we want to add container. I added some styles for the container just so we can see it on the page. And then just add card there. So now you can see a single card showing. So we have a route for that. And then we're going to need to make a route. So once we click on any of them, it's going to go to slash card slash something. So here we can make another out. And inside of this, we're going to render that specific component that's going to show only one card. In my case, this is my separate component. So we'll need to make that as well. So for example, inside of this, we can render a component that's going to be called full card. And then we can import full card here. So under hero, we're going to import full card from dot slash full card. So this is going to be separate component just for our cards. And then here we can import react from react. We're going to do const full card. And we're going to return a section that's going to have a class name of full. And we're going to have a container here. And then we can do export default card. Full card, sorry, not card. So we have it imported here. So now we'll make, we, we'll need to make a route for this. So we're going to make a route called, let's see, we're going to add path. And then it's going to be slash. And then we can give it any name first. So let's say we want to do cards. And then slash. And then we are, we're going to add a column here. And then the name you want to use for use params. So this could be anything. You'll just need to match this name against whatever whatever you're checking. So for example, in my case, I'll just add title here. But this can be anything. So it's just going to go to slash cards and then title. And then if we go back, we're going to need to use this data. So right now we're displaying a single card here with just some text that's hello. And our data is inside our app. So we're going to send that data to our hero. So we have access to that. And we also want to send it to our full card. So we have access to that there as well. And then if we go inside a hero, we're going to destructure our data. And we're going to pass it to our single card that is showing on this first page. And now inside a card, we can map to that array and output the things we want. So let's just destructure it here first so we can get the data. Then we're going to remove everything from here. We're going to make add a React fragment first. And then inside of that, we just want to map through that array. So it's going to be data.map. And then let's say for each, for each card. And we also want to pass an index. And inside of this, we're going to return a div with a class name of card. And we're going to have an h1 and a paragraph. So our h1 is going to be card.title, which if we go back here, this is our data and this is our title. And then we have description as well. So for our paragraph, we're going to do card.description. And we're also going to use our index for our key. So key equals index. 
And now we'll see six cards we have here since we have array of six objects. And then here we'll need a button, but in our case we're gonna use link from React Router. So we're gonna import a link from a React Router DOM. And then we're gonna paste link here. So we're gonna go link. And it's just gonna say view more. And this link has a prop that's two. And we're gonna set it equal to we're gonna add curly braces and then template literals here. So inside of that, we're gonna go to slash cards. I think that's how we named it. So let's go back to wrap. So it's slash cards. So we need to match that as well here. So it's gonna be slash cards slash, and then we wanna use our since we're inside the map, we can use card.title, which is this either HTML, CSS, React, or JavaScript. So that's gonna be inside our URL as well. Once we click that. So now if we click that, it's going to go to that specific URL. It's not going to show that card yet since we didn't add that. But now if we click view more, it's going to go to that specific one. So we fix that. And then inside our full card, we are sending data as a prop here. So we need to get it to get it here as well. So let's destructure the data. And here we want to import use params. From React Router DOM. So this is how we can access that URL here. So we're gonna make a variable. So we're gonna do const and then this name inside of this. So I'm just gonna type title first. So this name here needs to match this name inside the app here. So this name that's title and this name right here need to be the same. So whatever you give it, it has to be the same. And then we're going to do equals to use params. And now we have access to that. So now what we want to do inside this contain a container right here, we're going to get our data. We're going to filter through the data. And then for each card, what we want to return through this filter is card.title that's equal to the title we passed in or the title we're getting from use params here. So let's say our card title is HTML. This title is also going to be HTML. So we're going to return that specific card. So after that, we can do dot map. And then for each card, we're also going to pass an index here. So we can use as a key. And inside of this, we want to return a div with a class of full card. And this div is going to have a key of index. And we just want to render out the same thing we rendered inside our card. So we're going to have card title and card description. In our case, without the link. So we're not going to have button inside, instead of, inside of this card. So we want to add h1 and paragraph. And our h1 is going to be card.title. And our paragraph is going to be card.description. Something like that. And then if we click HTML. It goes to this page, so slash card slash HTML, and it's going to render that specific card. So if card title matches our title here. So card title in this case is HTML and our URL or title we have here that's coming from use params is also HTML here. So this card is matching and that's the one we're showing right here. And then if we go back and let's click JavaScript, now we're going to go to JavaScript. And this is going to be slash cards slash JavaScript. And then we click React slash cards slash React. And then it says React and this is React. So that would be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.